friends welcome to our channel my name is esther and this is qs fashion up if you're stopping by for the first time you're welcome please please hit that subscribe button up there and join the family and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we upload new videos today guys i'm going to be teaching you how to make this fabric rose on the thumbnail it's a very simple one and a quick one so the materials we'll be needing for this tutorial are you're going to be using a a doll face you can use a brighter satin a shiny face a, a doll shirt any fabric of your choice is good for this tutorial okay we're gonna be needing our glue gun can you see glue gun we're gonna be needing our scissors a matching thread okay you're gonna be needing um, a needle we're gonna be using this wording and interface some people call it wording or breast pad I don't know <laughs> I don't know the name they call it in your area so we're going to be needing the lighter one of it okay so we're going to be needing these chinese stones can you see them so and also you're going to be needing a glass cup something that has a round surface okay so this is what i'm going to be using okay now let's move straight to the tutorial the first thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to be placing my my cup this way Okay, and I'm going to be drawing a circle like this. Okay, I'm going to be drawing a circle like this. So once I'm done, I'll just grab my scissors and cut it out like this. Following the shape that I just drew out now. Okay, so I'm just cutting. Please make sure that your hand is straight while you're cutting. Okay. Okay, so this is it. By the time I was done cutting, my circle was measuring three inches. Can you see? Three inches by three inches okay and i'm going to be needing six of this circle can you see six one two three four five six okay i'm going to be using six for it okay the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to be threading my needle okay after that i will fold my fabric the circle into equal part like this and i will fold again into four can you see so after folding i'm just going to grab my needle and thread and i'll start stitching it like this you're going to be creating loose stitches all the way around like you can see me doing on the screen okay So I'm just going to make it loose like this. I'm not going to gather it yet. Can you see what I'm doing? I'll pick the next one, fold into two, and I'm going to fold it again <laughs> into another two again. Let me do it again. I fold into two equal parts, and I'm going to fold it again into two again. So that's four all together. Can you see? So you make sure that this side that has the opening is facing the same direction so i'm just going to go ahead and start doing it by the time i'm done i'll can you see what i'm doing okay can you see so i'm going to repeat the same process to the other ones then i'll come back to show you the next step when I was done stitching them together with a loose stitch, so the next thing I'm going to do is to pull. Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm going to pull from both sides. So I'm going to pull it very close. You can decide to increase them. You can use seven, eight, or even more, depending on how full you want this to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie it like this and create a knot. Can you see? Or 
create a knot can you see make sure you tie it very tight okay so i'll go ahead and tie it again again for the third time so i'm just going to cut off my thread like this so when i'm done so once you are done doing all of this the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to set this aside and for the um the wording that I talked about is measuring three inches by three inches you're just going to cut a square like this and fold this into two you're going to fold it again can you see what i'm doing and after that you grab your scissors can you see watch me closely and i'm going to cut it like this so this is it it's looking big i want to reduce the length and uh, the size so i'm just going to go ahead and cut like this so this is it can you see what i have here okay save save and i was done cutting this so my glue gun, I just attach glue to it like this. Okay. So make sure you plug your glue gun. Okay. After that, I'm going to use this to cover the back. Like this. So for the front, I'm going to be using this, my Chinese stone. I'll apply my glue to it like this. Like this I'm just going to go ahead and use it to cover this so with this your, fa your fabric rose is ready so with this you can stop wasting money on buying rose you can decide so you can actually make this on your own it's looking so beautiful can you see the neat finishing so guys if this tutorial has been helpful to you please please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to drop a comment and show some love my name is esther and this is qs fashion of don't stop learning keep learning till i see you next time bye bye